You were ill-prepared for the savagery of the librarian. It appears that it's not only positive changes in the world. The librarian had always been the weakest of those eldritch monsters. But now, now he is much more dangerous. Your companions bested him, though it was a near-run thing. Perhaps the Dreaming General will be easier. The man-at-arms needs his shield. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Loki Orin, and we are back in the Altar of Hope patch, patch on the Experimental Branch. Oh, jeez, trophy freaking out. With um, our uh, formation backstabbers here, and it looks like we don't really get much of a choice about where we're um, going to go here. Because we are, we are tapped down low. We only have, like, one candle. Oh boy, cultist encounter into a lair. This is definitely not what we, uh, not what the doctor was ordering. But we're gonna make it happen. We definitely have a formation that's gonna quite easily be able to handle the um, dreaming general. So I feel pretty good about this. Um, it's been, it's actually been a few days since I played. So there's been some hot fixes going in, mostly bug fix kind of stuff. But I've also had some time to just think about how I want to play the um play the game and more importantly like make content make videos for the channel to the best of so my current intent you know as it stands is to the best of my ability i'm gonna keep working on project runs i'm gonna keep trying to do the um the projects um with the understanding that there's a fair you know there's a fairly good likelihood that some runs won't be possible like runs like thinking about something like cause and effect um it's not impossible i should say but the not having hero paths not having a bunch of the like powerful trinkets is really going to make those runs quite difficult bordering on you know almost undoable in some cases so i think i figured out what my unlock schedule is going to be the priority is going to be Unlocking the, um... Ooh. We have an opportunity to get greedy here. Uh, so the priority is going to be unlocking the other heroes. With an eye to, um, freeing up the rest of our formations. And then trying to get their hero pass unlocked. Um, I may take a slight detour in that to get some of our, um... Uh, may take a slight doer to get some of the economy going, just because I, I, you know, I think some of the early stagecoach upgrades are material. But I definitely want to be focusing more on getting the heroes up to the point where they can actually, you know, sort of do their job. Because as it stands, you know, like I can't, you know, some of the project runs I just can't do. And the truth is, we're missing a bunch of our project. Like we're missing a bunch of our ability to do that. So yeah, that's that's kind of the update on where we're going as a channel. I hope I hope that uh, meets expectations for everybody. Um, you know, if not, comment section below. I definitely want to hear your feedback. I'm not looking to make decisions in a vacuum. Uh, the alternative would be that instead of recording a bunch of runs, I just do a bunch of like candle runs where I just you know play a formation I'm really confident in. And try to just win the, uh, you know, w either win or lose as quick as possible and try to just get, you know, net some ca net some quick candles. But I don't think that's particularly, I mean, A, that wouldn't be particularly interesting from a, like, content creation standpoint. It also wouldn't be particularly interesting, I think, for you all if you just don't see me play for a bit and then suddenly I've got all this, you know, all this stuff. But, you know... Still have you know, still have some time to make a final choice, but I think I think we're gonna go the the way I described. You know, do some initial put put some effort in to try to get the um, all the heroes unlocked and get their hero paths. Um, by the way, something that's very interesting in that regard, um, the new system lets you pick hero paths. So going forward, I'm definitely. Um, I'm definitely going to be making use of that. Um, in the past, there's been a sort of randomness 
to it, but that randomness has always been um, kind of couched in terms of I get to choose which formation I'm running. You know, we we decide or I decide the formation based on what is what is going to perform well. So given that, you know, it's not really any different than me picking which formation I want to use. So definitely going to be we're definitely going to see more what I guess you could say is optimized formations. You know, you're not going to see you're not necessarily going to see like a wanderer in any particular um, any particular run unless I'm going for candles because that's the only benefit of the wanderer is that you get the you get the additional candles you know I'd much rather like you know if, if my plague doctor is going to be in a position to make use of surgeon she's going to have surgeon because surgeon is you know not so but anyway enough enough of me rambling on about random stuff I hope uh Hope it was at least passingly interesting as we uh, get get into the gameplay. Take our free stress heal and our free heal too. Stealth guy just croaks and now Barristan gets to do his job of tanking. Well, dodge tanking. Very good. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing quite good. Uh, you know, married life has agreed with me so far. And I'm definitely, definitely enjoying being back home, though. I, I do like, I mean, everyone likes a vacation. But spending a week away from home, you just end up coming back and really wanting, like, your stuff. Like, you know, I missed, I missed my desktop. I missed recording. I missed playing this game. But I also missed, like, my own bed, my own toilet, my own, you know, like refrigerator like it's just you miss all the little things that are like different than what they are at home um oops we didn't we didn't do skills before we went in unfortunately barristan can't reliably hit the fourth rank but that's okay because everyone else can and paracelsus can do it while hitting um paracelsus can do it while hitting the boss so we we are only going to have uh one one bit of lost action economy so we will be quite fine with that Oops, I actually meant to, uh, meant to incision there, but I don't, you know, I hit the wrong button and I don't think it really matters. Now, I will say, there's not a very compelling reason in truth for me to be going after the Dreaming General here, so if the rewards aren't very good and we get really chewed up in these fights, we're definitely going to run. But that being said, I think you get extra candles for clearing lairs. And we're definitely we're definitely in the business of extra candles, because the more candles we unlock, I've people have been reporting you that on a good on a good complete run, you're gonna get like sixty to seventy candles, which seems like that's enough to get you know some pretty good progress on an individual hero. So uh, we're definitely gonna be looking to do as much. Uh, as much work as we can in any one run and along the way if we can get project runs done i'm definitely not going to say no um i do want to get back to the seething sigh and that's part of the um well actually i was about to say that's part of the the hang up on why i um am reluctant to you know do more project runs but they nerfed the seething sigh so we might be able to go to the seething sigh with wanderers and be okay you know, it's still not going to be fun, and, you know, we're definitely going to be a little scared in places, but I think we'll be better off than we originally thought we were going to be. Yeah, otherwise, I mean, you know, because of, you know, my honeymoon and everything, I didn't get, I haven't had the chance to play this patch as much as others, but I, so far I've been very happy with this patch. Um, the biggest complaint I've seen... And maybe if I can just uh, take the opportunity to uh, disagree with people in the community, the biggest complaint I've seen from a lot from folks is basically they don't. You know, people seem to not necessarily like the idea of having their progression. I don't know if you want to say reset or um, just not. Um, you know, having to reprogress through a bunch of stuff. You know, people are asking you. Know, like, why do I have to buy all the trinkets? Why do I have to buy all these things? And I think that's... I just... I don't really agree with that mentality. You know, it's... 
it's a game, right? So everyone needs to... You know, everyone should you know play the game the way they want to and should have fun doing it. If you're not having fun playing the game, why are you here? But it definitely feels like there's an element of folks who are sort of ad adopting this this stance of like I want I want to be given everything rather than going through the process of earning it. You know, like like you know a group of people you know, were saying like I I don't think I don't I shouldn't have to unlock all the heroes and I shouldn't have to unlock all their skills was something I saw one person express and you know that's kind of like well then why are you why are you playing the game like if you just want to get to the final like if you want to get to the final step of the game like when everything else is done like doesn't that defeat the purpose of the journey to get there like the original darkest dungeon was a huge slog well i don't know if slog's the right term but you know you're talking about extremely long gameplay loop to get to the end so i don't really i don't really get that but then again they're <coughs> excuse me they're them and not me and i'm not them so you know i have you know we have to remember always keep that in mind that they have a different experience and maybe they they just want a different outcome which, if so, fair enough. You know, play the game the way you want. But as for me, I love this. I think it's really good. It's definitely a healthier form of the game. Like, this is much closer to, I think, what, a, what some people envisioned when they were told Darkest Dungeon 2. Like, the progression makes a lot more, you know, is a lot clearer. The power we're ramping into is there. Boom! Reverberating redoubt. Okay, I don't even. I almost don't even care what the rest of the loot is for reverberating redoubt. We will fight the dreaming general. I will. I will kick his ass for that. Reverberating redoubt is decidedly S tier. Has never not been S tier. Um, you don't even really need to move, do you? Guess you can move one. Nice. Together now. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. We need these crits to come in. Stress heal's good too. Nice dodge. I don't know how one dodges an Unsettling Whisper, and I don't understand why everyone else took a uh, stress tick there, but we, we will work with it. Hmm. Okay. We got paid out there. Oh, we didn't get the burn, though, which is too bad. We were hoping to get the burn the burn off that crit, and really, like, the only way that's worth it is it kind of if we got the crit and had that chance. So do we gamble? No, I think we... I don't think we gamble yet. We have a, we have a lot of health, and we're very low stress right now, so... We can take we can take a big soil stirs, particularly if Dismas is gonna be one of the targets, because that means we're gonna get an extra swing off, which is quite nice. Yeah, so Dismas would have gotten locked up and he would have he would have immediately done his thing. We'll just stack all of our smoke bombs onto this. Remember that the cultist battle at the end of this is the only thing guaranteed is what was it? I think it's a deacon mash or something. And for now, we'll just have Audrey and um, we'll just have Audrey and Dismas or in um, Paracelsus just keep taking the roots down. This is definitely the higher damage approach, which isn't what we you know kind of advocated for last time. 
but I think I think we can take it early on here. Particularly if we're gonna have reposts up and get those crackbacks. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Give me those give me those crits. Take take me to crit city, Dismas. God, the, the unusual suspects in its in its various forms is just such a like good formation. Everything about this formation just works. You know, it just it just performs well. May have to look to... T okay, no. Paracelsus didn't get targeted, so yeah, we, we don't have to take a turn off to put some healing into Paracelsus. And the reposts just continue to be good. I do think starting over from a fresh account would be a little bit harder. Like if... Jeez, Dismas. Just keep, keep swinging that. Like, if I was starting from a totally fresh account, it would be a little tough not having all these skills. Like, that's definitely making this a bit easier. How much health has he got? Alright, so we're not racing this turn. We could though. Yeah, you know what? Okay, it's let's let's start gearing up into our race here. Yeah, okay, that was the right call, because he's at 14. That was a 27 point hit. Good lord. Okay, so Paracelsus got grabbed. But we're gonna knock him into Death's door. Oh man, we did not get, we did not get lucky with those hits. There we go. Okay. So this is a little scary. We are kind of gambling here, but we've got we've got the the dots already up. Oh, Audrey gets grabbed too. Fortunately, Barristan and Dismas won initiative, so that was pretty that was pretty clean. We took maybe a little bit more stress than we optimally had to, but I think that was that was a pretty good output. And that loot is premium. All right, well let's go ahead and I mean let's just let's get our prizes going. Uh, Greater Clotting Crew can pound sand. Um, we got two of those, which is kind of fun. Um, Challenge. Well, we can put a greater get rid of that clotting crew. That's just making him fast. That's kind of working for me. Though maybe maybe we put that in. Gain on miss if first in round. Dismas rarely misses on the first round. We're gonna try this out, I think. Um, I don't think Hail Draught or that's gonna come in. Uh huh. Do we have somewhere we can put that? Uh, sure. Let's put that there. And we'll keep the general's dream for now. The reason to keep the general's dream is purely because if we go back to the tangle, we'd rather get the the trinkets trophy. And given you know, given how we we did fairly decisively win that, um, you know, we have five stress on multiple party members, which is not the best, but that's somewhat easier to reverse. You know, we got, you know, one one good, one reasonable combat encounter. Fight, fight with an advantage. That actually seems kind of appealing. What is this? Fight, also fight with an advantage. Alright, we'll go from Paracelsus because that fixes a negative relationship. Or the beginning of a negative relationship. Oh, hey. Hey, drummer boy. How you doing? Slay the wounded. Alright, well... We may as well use our uh, use our vulnerables here. Nice. Getting getting the uh, getting the drummer down first round is really good. Makes makes this whole thing a lot easier. 
You know, I almost want to say, like, I don't, you know, I almost want to say the game is a little easier right now, which is weird, weird to say, because I don't think it is. Like, I mean, we just, we just went through the whole, like, librarian kicking, you know, almost kicking my, kicking my ass, so, like, you know, there's definitely, are you dead? You are not dead, so let's make sure you're dead. Okay, cool. And... Dead of Night. <coughs> but, like, you know, the fact that we got, like, eight, eight mastery points out of the first zone, definitely, like, you know, we have all these upgraded skills. We're not, we're not that far into the game. You know, the price of pride. Golly, you're... Yeah, hmm. We just uh, patch up Dismas. And I think we just keep Dead of Nighting here. We see the double, the two two turns of stealth, so, you know, um, Audrey is as safe as she can be right now. Safe as houses. Just crit through, burn on, cool. Uh, sadly, we can't, um, sadly, we can't bolster anymore because we're just. We're just healing stress off crits, which is definitely nice. Get our get our last uh, last heal in and finish the job. Commanding victory. Very clean. Stress back down. Feeling good. All right. What? So we got a. Okay, so we got, yeah, we got, we need to visit three assistance encounters because we do want to get wind chimes. So one, two, three. And that's a bunch of candles. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't even look at the map, but like, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a very easy path for us to pick. Oh, the map is still doing, still doing its thing where it's like, uh, it's on ice. But that's okay. Because wind chime is going to be a nice pickup. That'll be. That'll be, we'll take, we'll get rid of one of the storage trunks. Like, see, that, that's actually the first set of upgrades. I need to unlock heroes, but I need to unlock the full stagecoach so that I can, um, six relics for some extra stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that felt good. I kind of want to drop the clotting crew, but I don't want to slow him down. This is speed, right? Yeah, it's minus four speed. I mean, that wouldn't be terrible on the man-at-arms. But it, it, it synergizes well with Price of Pride, but I like we're not going to not have Reverberating Readout. Like, Reverberating Readout just baseline is really good. Where is, his, where is the speed buff? Oh, it's the inn. Okay, yeah. So we're reverberating readouts not as good right now because it's off, basically. Uh, so normally it'd be four. He's got on guard two, plus the flame. Yeah. We're gonna have to do some work on Barristan to get um to get a reverberating readout working. But even just like the extra two damage on a tick is is worthwhile. And if we can find a way to get his speed down, which will be, you know, other ins plus, um, it'll be other ins plus, um, stake and spuds, because I don't think stake and spuds is active. Yeah. So I think other ins plus stake and spuds is minus four off that, so it gets it to three. So we just have to find a way to get rid of one more speed. I don't know. Maybe we maybe we do try to get uh, on guard removed. Even though on guard is really good. Oh, the light. The light is the other one. So we just let the light fall. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Defensive formation is definitely not my favorite. But Dismas critting is my favorite. Are you dead? Okay. Cool. Spend the combo point to get the crit.
Got that 50% death blow resistance. Dude's tanking right now. I think we take the opportunity to battlefield medicine ourselves and just clean up our uh, get some HP back while we have the opportunity ooh 11 HP I think we gotta be a little bit creative here okay now he's now he's dead okay cool so we could have just we could have just killed this guy, but we didn't know that we didn't know we were gonna land the crit and get the, um, you know, because I don't I don't want him to explode if I can avoid it. Um, eh, just end it. There's some world where we like dead of night for some extra HP, but that's not that's not possibly worth it. Getting plenty of bandages. Um, I remember reading but reading someone in the Discord's post saying that um. They'd gotten really lucky, and one of their earliest unlocks was, um, like, healing salves or something like that. And suddenly it became for them, like, they don't want to unlock anything else. So, there's a world where we do that. Let's try this out. His Price of Pride is good for that extra tankiness, but, like, this at least puts him, this will put him consistently in the flame, you know, in the thing once the flame gets over. Um, six more? Yeah, okay. Keep grabbing that. Lost my train of thought, so sorry. Wh whoever was, if anyone was following my rambling there, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought as I... Jesus, we got enough playing cards? We don't we don't need these many playing cards, I don't think. Well, you're out for sure. You're out, you're out. Okay, let's keep moving. Got stake and spuds for everybody. I think we get rid of one of the playing cards. I can't imagine using using all those playing cards. Alright. Hydrophobe. And hypochondria is scatterbrained? Yeah, there's a bunch of... We, we can just dump all of our relics into... Uh... Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Dismas apparently just wanted to leave there, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, so here we're continuing to see, I think, a, a flaw in this design... Uh, which is because I don't I'm missing a bunch of unlocks like I just get the same stuff over and over again um, oh man it's a two point stress but it does put Dismas down to four and gets us a candle which we definitely want and then man I'd like to go to that creature den but I think I need to go to this hospital I need to clean up our quirks best I can and I think we can handle a cultist battle okay hopeful wow we can rob them or big rob them well I don't hate the idea of our flame going lower okay well, that was not out 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 don't think we're gonna need that Clotting poultices we're going to need. The rest of this might just have to go. Alright. Yeah, okay, we're definitely going. Oh, man. Ooh. Pushing our stress kind of high, but... Yeah. I think, I think we, gotta, we do need to go to the field hospital. The creature den would have been really good, don't get me wrong. I definitely would like would have liked to go to that creature den. But I think this field hospital is just gonna help us get rid of too many negative traits, not to. Alright, wellness. Um Hydrophobe can get out. Ooh. 
We might try to lock in that. Um, hypochondriac, get out. Uh, are you? No, okay, good. Uh, scatterbrained? I think that's okay. Bum leg's fine. There we go. Spent a bunch of relics, but like... Locking in sunny disposition's really good to have. And locking that in is very good if, you know, if... Because remember, if Dismas survives this run, he keeps his traits. So, like, you know, he'd be pretty good. Locking in sunny disposition feels pretty good. Oh, jeez. Alright. Not our best initiative roll. At least Paracelsus is tra channeling her stress into uh, into some damage here. Ooh, up to up to seven again. Well, we got to go ahead and start working on that. We're okay with uh, we're okay with Dismas picking up Taunt here because he does have he does have his repost stacks up, so he is he's gonna pick up some stress, which is not our favorite, but that's something we can sort of handle. All right. All right. Stress stress heal going the wrong way, but we can work with that. Seven. So we do need it. We do need another big hit on this guy. Eleven. Eleven. Exactsies. We just barely got him, but we did get him. Now we do need to we do need to get at least one more stress heal off, which is okay because we can we need to kill the kill the um, rear guy anyway. But first, let's magrain for a lot. Put you to dead. It does. Cool. Now, the question is, can we stall this out to turn 5 and get one last bolster in? And I think we do. Because we do have a cultist battle coming up, so if we can find a way... And we'll weaken him up a little bit. That's fine. We will definitely trade a little bit of HP on our, um... No, that'll put him to... Yeah, that'll put him to death door. I think we got a retribution here in hope. Wonderful. Oh, not wonderful. No, actually, no, this is fine. Because we go bang. Put him to death door. You... I don't know, magrain him for fun. You bolster. Oh, Dismas went from five to four. Dang, that's lame. Oh, well, we tried. We tried. We almost got it. We almost got kind of what we were aiming for there. But in the meantime, I mean, we definitely, we got Paracelsus back down to reasonable stress, which is the big, the big target there. And now we hit the uh, hit this cultist encounter. All right, uh, fight, fight, fight with an advantage. Probably go from Audrey because that's yeah, that's two big improvements. There we go. Getting too close. We're getting the relationships, the relationships going. Now our uh, finally uh, reverberating readout is on. It's kind of a 
kind of a risky way to go about that, but I will uh, I will work it, work with it. Yeah, this uh, this trait on guard is really good on the um, the man at arms, just because of how much like incoming damage he's likely to take. Like he just dodged both of those. That's an enormous amount of dodge for us. Definitely need the ordained one to die first. Six, seven, wonderful. Got it just in time. Oh, off by two. That's okay, uh, Barristan can reach it. Which is what he'll do. There we go. Both heralds down before they started doing unpleasant things to me. I gotta say, you know, the it seems like the answer to a lot of my trouble is crit a lot. That definitely, uh... Definitely helps. Do you have bandages, Audrey? Yeah, you do. Okay. Let's get that sorted. That's a lot. But unfortunately, once again, we need to uh, stress heal. Get Dismas down first, because Dismas has pretty likely high likelihoods to crit. You know, twenty percent baseline. So you know, apparently twenty percent for Dismas is like you know hundred percent for anyone else. Nice. Okay, now, now the world becomes a do we stall question. Stall. We probably stall for at least one, right? Yeah. Yeah, we definitely stall for at least one more um, stress heal. Because we're not going to be able to kill her till next round anyway. Well. If, if Dismas had crit there, we would have been a little bit more trouble. Perfect. Well, not perfect. It'd be better if she was a little bit lower stress. But we can work with this. Nice, clean cultist battle. The the nerfs to the cultists were definitely appreciated because give just giving us a little bit a little bit of help there. Uh, fire. I think this one we're just not we're never gonna use. We got like we got so much crap. We get so many in items in our wagon, and it's all the same stuff. Yeah, there's definitely... There's so many things to unlock. Like, I want some variety, but at the same time, we don't want... You know... I can see why they made it random, I guess, is the end point. Like, because if you got to choose, everyone would just unlock, like, the, the six best items and never, tr never touch anything else. You know, if you're trying to be optimal about it. We will eventually unlock everything, but we gotta prioritize... Yeah, so it's a cardinal mash. That's what happens. Okay. Well, my friend the Herald, I need you I need you to not exist anymore. It's a cardinal mash with a guaranteed altar, so this is the This is probably one of the more dangerous options, in my opinion. Ooh, disharmony. That's your move back one, yeah. Still gonna focus down the Herald, cause uh do not do not like. Just get get rid of the Herald before it does something unpleasant to me. Give him a bollocking. <laughs> 
four. So normally I'd be... So normally there's an argument... Normally I'd be looking to Retribution here, but since Dismas has all these reposts and Cardinals really like to AoE, I think it's better to crush there and just get rid of the... Um, get rid of the altar. Because, like, this... Dismas is just going to get to uh, do his do his job instead. Unless that happens. But the good news is we have upgraded Battlefield Medicine, so... Well... That, that extra stress is not good, but we only have about 85 items for healing stress here, so I'm not super worried about it. go and Dismas yeah Dismas finishes the job ended up with a bit more stress than we would have liked but you know another dark impulse they're just they're handing those out like confetti right now I don't even to be frank I don't even know if I want them like, what, what cultist trinket am I going to possibly use here? Um, here we go. I don't know. We'll keep carrying it, because I, I don't know which cultist trinkets are unlocked. So I don't know if, they're, if, I, if I don't have any unlocked and it's just a waste of time, because the Dark Impulse on its own is not particularly good. Like, it's a, it's a resistance you know trinket which is just not resistance remains something that's not worth stacking most of the time because it's just not it's not what gets you killed and it's not what wins the battle either but anyway thank you all for watching um we'll get into this dismiss is anemic oh god that's we got to get rid of that all righty how many oh you got oh man it looks like we're gonna have to get rid of nervous here It sucks to get rid of Nervous, but... Oh. Right. Is there... Is there a chance? Yes, okay. There we go. Anemic needed to go. That was not... That was not going to be allowed to continue. Do we? All right. Is there any relationship we can grab? Oh, Audrey and Barristan's one off. So let's. Uh... There we go. That worked quite nicely. Let's see what playing cards does to us here. Braggart's fine. It's not our favorite, but we can live with it. Now Audrey and Paracelsus are off by one. Can we do that? Just more playing cards and, like, clotting crews and stuff. Yeah, the variety is really not there. Nice. I saw a bunch of blue there, so that was not as good as it could have been. Um, Dismas still doesn't have any friends, but that's okay. Let's get our mastery sorted. Uh, crush, for sure. I think that's good for you. Pistol Shot will get the upgrade now, because you are getting to use your skills a fair bit. I'm going to upgrade all of his skills. Oh, actually. Probably need to upgrade Play Grenade and Noxious. Well. Upgrade Play Grenade and Noxious Blast. We will upgrade Pistol Shot, because we have been using it a fair bit. And does Crush need it? Is there something we... Eh. I'll upgrade lunge instead of instead of uh, crush. That seems good. All right, where are we heading? The shroud for candles. So we could go back into the we could go back into the tangle, get the seventy five percent reduction. But remember, we don't have that many good trinkets. Um, maybe we do go into the shroud and try out the new uh, the new leviathan. Is there a ceremonial drum in here? No. 
I think we head to the Shroud. I don't know if we fight the Leviathan, but I'd rather get the candles than anything else. So, yeah. And which means we will put, uh... 40, 40, 0, 40. Alright, so let's put it on, um... Put it on Barristan. Make at least one of our guys a rock. Um, Barristan needs the extra clotting poultice. Who's got the lowest after that? 40, 40, 96. Yeah, okay. So uh, probably, probably Audrey. Just throw these on whoever. Get rid of that to make room. And yeah, that'll do it. So thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Let the YouTube algorithm know I make content you like to watch. This is, runs going very well. Knock on wood, it'll stay that way. See you next time in the Shroud.